In today's Minecraft video, I bring you XP abilities so you can do things like this. So welcome back, my name is Echo, and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, I bring you an absolutely fantastic mod slash add-on that works for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. If you'd like to check this out, there'll be a link down below to this page, which also explains how it works, which is what I'm going to do in today's video. The download link is a media file link, so you don't got to deal with any stupid ads with Adfly or Linkverse. Click on the download and it's going to open this media file link. Then click this. Now you're ready to install. Open it up in Minecraft and it's going to install both the behaviors pack and the resource pack. As you can see, successfully imported XP abilities. To enable this, create a brand new world. Go to your behaviors pack and enable this. Make sure it's inside the active section and do the exact same with the resource pack. Now in terms of game settings, I'm using experiments uh, such as Holiday Creator, this one, this one, and this one. Didn't enable caves and cliffs and didn't enable experimental Molang features. Then you're good to go. So Minecraft Bedrock Edition really has come a very long way. I kind of get like a Final Fantasy vibe or like a Titanfall vibe. Looks really, really cool. Couple of things to explain on the main screen. So let's start off with what is available on the right hand side. It says HP and EP. HP means health points. EP means experience points. On the left hand side, we have fire, blizzard, thunder, bio, haste, cure, barrier, and I think it's Isuna. Now next to them and next to each and every single one, it has EP, which is the cost of experience points. So fire is two, blizzard is two, thunder is two, bio, which I think is biohazard is two, haste two, cure two, barrier is four, and the last one is five experience points. Now I'm in survival. Look where my XP bar is. It says EP 11. That's how you know how much XP you have. Now, if you go ahead and just kill a bunch of mobs, for example, like this little piggy here, obviously the more mobs you kill, the more XP you are going to get. Which again gives you more points, which then again gives you the ability to do more things. We always give credit in my videos, and the creator of this is Vel Voxel Raptor. I'll leave a link down below to their YouTube channel, and also how you can download it. Also, a quick reminder, if you're checking this out for the first time, you wanna do forward slash game rule and do uh, command, and it's the feedback. You wanna make sure the feedback is set to false, because if you have it as true, whenever you're changing all your abilities, your chat gets filled with these ability things. So what you wanna do is you wanna run this command and set it as uh, false. That way, when you are changing ability, uh, it's no longer just going to cover your screen anymore. All right, so we have this in your hotbar. Now, you can throw it on the floor. Um, it's kind of invisible. You can throw it on the floor, but this is your ability. So you kind of don't want to lose this. Now, if you die, don't worry. You will get another one. If you're checking this out for the first time, I recommend grabbing yourself a bunch of XP. Because the more XP you have, the better this is. And again, the more abilities you're able to do. So this is very, very um, single player friendly as well. So let's start off with fire. Now, first thing I want to show you is that when you are crouching, it pauses all the mobs. Everything freezes. So let me get a better example here. Let's go to forward slash summon. I'm going to do a creeper here. Let's summon a creeper. Don't blow up just yet. Don't blow up. Okay, so he's blowing up. So when he comes towards us, I'm going to crouch. You can see there the game is froze. He can't touch me or do anything. And then when I change, let's go with like fire, for example. Just gonna get out of here. We can set him on fire. You gotta aim towards the floor, but you can set him on fire. Now this is costing me two XP at a time. Sorry, villager, you're also getting it too. So the fire one sets fire, but you are gonna have to somewhat aim towards the floor for these abilities to work. And you'll notice I've only got one XP. So right now, I'm out of XP and this is where you need to go and kill mobs. And get yourself a little bit of XP. So let's say we killed him. Alright, let's kill him. I got myself 2 XP. Which means I'm then able to set the cow on fire. 
That's, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, let's do it again. Let's crouch, get a fire. Let's set the cow on fire. Let's get him. There you go. We're gonna have some cooked beef today. And then we got ourselves some cooked beef. So now you understand why it's good to have XP. And you can see, obviously, my XP on the right-hand side goes up in real time, too. Um, so, again, what's the max level? I think it might be 15 that it caps at. In terms of your XP bar being full. However, you can go past it. If you really wanted to go to, like, 100 levels, of course you're able to do that. Now, keep an eye on my HP, because... If I take damage, my HP goes down. Watch. So you can see my HP goes down as well. So yeah, you will lose health points. Uh, let's do. Let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let's get yeeted once by, by this guy. There you go. So, <laughs> yeah, your health points will go down. But don't worry, because we have the ability to cure ourselves. So the next thing I want to show you is Blizzard. He's coming to me. So if you crouch, you have the ability to change your ability. Now remember, again... Holding down crouch basically freezes the mob in their position. Let's go to the blizzard. Let's let's get him. Come on. There you go. He's frozen. The blizzard like freezes him. He takes like the freeze. I don't think you could do it to yourself though. But he's currently freezing, which means I'm able to get over there and do it. Oh nope, maybe I can't get over there and do a little bit of damage to him. That's where I change to thunder. Grab myself a little bit of XP and be like bam with the thunder ability. I'm like Thor, but I'm out of XP again, so I'm gonna have to go kill something else. Or again, in this instance, use this and be like, bam. And again, bam. So as long as you have XP, you're able to strike and use these abilities as, as much as you wish. Boy, the Iron Golem don't seem to want to die. Let's see how he does against the Biohazard. Let's try this one. This has like a poison ability. Now again, this is also costing two. But let's say I'm done with being attacked by this guy. I'm gonna get myself a little bit of XP. I'm gonna crouch and go to the haste ability. Haste gives you... Hold on, let me try it. Haste gives you speed and also the ability to break things pretty fast as well. Which, again, you know exactly what haste is. Now, you'll probably notice that my hunger is down. I'm also gonna take a little bit of damage. So my, my health points actually are already down. Let's go to... Uh, the next one, which is Cure, I can Cure myself. So you can use XP to Cure your health points. Let's do it before he gets anywhere near me. So you can see my XP went down, but my health points went up. Which I think is awesome. Now he's still interested, and the next one we have is Barrier. Now, Barrier gives you a couple of abilities. Fire Resistance, and there's one more as well. Which, let me just hit this real quick. Resistance as well. So you have barrier and resistance. But that's a little bit more costly. Now, again, I think you have these for 30 seconds at a time. Um, but that way we were able to defend ourselves and kill the Iron Golem. I'm just feeling a little bit hungry. So this is where I'd be bouncing around and being like, I gotta be really careful because I don't want to burn the village. I just want to kill him. I want to I want to kill him and get some food. All right, let's try it again because he didn't seem to want to die. Let's try it on this guy. Come on. Okay, so he's on fire now. He wants some cooked foods. So that's that's why it's super helpful. All right, so I take back what I said before. So I'm at 15 levels. It doesn't matter if I go past 15. It caps out at 15. I think this is to prevent people from being too OP if you're using this in survival. So yeah, it does cap out at 15 levels. All right, so we have one more ability to show you. And I hope I'm saying it right. Isuna? Usana? I, I hope I'm saying it right. Now, this one, when used, gives you the Absorption 2 uh, for, I think it's just, it's just 30 seconds like the rest of them. And then we could just, like, go full on crazy, get, like, the biohazard getting on, be like, bam! Let's give him the ability on you, too. We poisoned the poor cows. But like, they, they shouldn't die from that, though. So it's not too overpowered. And then, again, you're like, bam, wanna, I want to feast to get him. I'm out of XP. So obviously, I'd have to get more XP at this point. Um, but yeah, super impressive. As always, if you did enjoy today's video, leave a like. But more importantly, full credit to Velvoxoraptor. That, that person is so talented. So they definitely deserve you subscribing to him and checking them out. There's a bunch of custom things you're able to mess around with. Uh, fire is super cool again. Just getting yourself some food. Uh, not in that, not in that instance. That time it didn't really work. But yeah, have a great day. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you all in the next. Where's the emotes video? 
I can't even do it because of the, uh, the add-on. Anyway, see you next time.